what is love? Now, the issue with questions like this is you could say, who is Matt Smith? Well, he's a 26-year-old human being that lives on planet Earth in the United States. Okay, but who is he? Well, you could also answer that by listing my characteristics instead of just literally what am I? So I'm going to do both with the word love. Love is literally God. Love is God. God is love. But that doesn't tell us much about, on its own, in an isolated sense, the characteristics of love or how you can spot love or how you know if you're doing love, if you're loving somebody. That is actually found in 1 Corinthians 13. And I'm going to just read it straight out to you. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Other translation says it bears all things. Okay, so now we know a few things that love does. You can actually check out if you're loving somebody properly because it's very good to tell somebody you love them. That just means you've made the decision to do it. But knowing that God is love and we are not God, it's important to check ourselves that we're actually doing it. And that's why it's much more important to do it than to say it. Now, don't get me wrong. It's okay to say it. Tell your wife you love her. Tell your girlfriend, your kids, all that. But it's much more important that you make the decision to love and only say it once you made that decision. That's why I would say don't say that when your feelings are telling you you love them. Because I've told, you know, plenty of people growing up I love them, but really it just meant that they affect me in such a way that when they do something, my feelings are either negatively or positively affected, therefore I'm attached to them. That's not what love is. And that's how I've used it all these years, but it's not right. Really, it means I've made the decision. You are worth doing all these things that it says in 1 Corinthians 13. I've made that decision that you are worth it. I agree to it and I'm doing it. I'm gonna seek your well-being compassionately, patiently, and sacrificially through all these things that the Bible describes. I like to remember the ending, the last part, that says love perseveres or bears all things. Love is tough. Love is strong. It actually carries through some tough things. It's not all gushy-gushy. It also says love always trusts. You can't love somebody unless you trust them. And trust is not built off of looking at their track record and saying, I can trust you. Trust is a decision that I make. It's actually nothing to do with the person I'm trusting. It's all to do with me saying, okay, I'm going to put you in a position where you could do me wrong, but it's worth it if that's what it means to love you. God trusts us. He must do because he loves us. And his word says that love trusts he definitely puts us in a situation to break his heart. We do it all the time, but he still allows us to do it because he loves us. And that's the only way he can have us and love us, by entrusting us with choice. Love protects. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can protect somebody. You can protect them physically, which is important, but also spiritually. You don't let worry or deceit into their life. You don't swing the door open on their life and just let a bunch of crap walk in. That's what protection is. And lastly, love always hopes. Love does not say you will never be this, you will never be that. I don't trust that God is going to do this in you. No, love hopes. Love says, I do believe that this work is going to be completed in you until the day of Christ Jesus. Because God started this good work in you and he loves you. So I'm going to hope in what God's doing in your life. I'm going to hope in this. I'm going to hope. Right? Isn't it amazing that uh, Christ is our hope? And the Bible also says that God is love and Christ is God and hope is love. Love hopes. It's all linked, man. It's all linked together. Hope is an integral part of love and love is what God is. So it's incredibly important that we hope when we endeavor to love somebody in whatever that means in that situation. 